Fox 10 Gulfstream. This is Next Weather. Hey there, Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith here with an update on what we saw temperature wise today and uh, six degrees above normal with our temperatures today. 90 was the high of the day and we've been seeing that regularly. These are not records and the mornings have been nice, but the temperatures way above average in the tropics. We're watching Philippe, a tropical storm, a little elongated here. That's kind of an understatement there and it's headed north and it'll really struggle, but we think it'll hold together and then transition into a post tropical storm and hit Maine and Nova Scotia as we head into the weekend. But it's not coming anywhere near us or the Gulf and that's really it as far as issues in the tropics. All right, we've got a big front on the way and it'll get close enough to us on Friday to bring a few scattered showers. We're still going to hit 90 on Friday, so it'll be a little while before this cooler air gets here, but we're thinking Saturday morning will feel nice and refreshing and our temperatures will be in the middle 60s at 9 a.m. on Saturday with that north wind coming down and we'll struggle to make it into the 70s on Saturday, eventually upper 70s by the afternoon with fall like air arriving tomorrow morning. Your lows will look like this. Not quite as crisp and cool in the inland spots, but the coastal area is about the same. We're thinking 70 in Gulf Shores, 66 in Mobile, 66 Calvert, 65 in Grove Hill, 72 in Pensacola tomorrow morning. And looking at our temperatures tomorrow afternoon, we will have some 90s popping up here and there. Temperatures in the upper 80s in many spots way above normal, and we're almost there. We're almost to fall. Here's where it starts to show up as we look at our forecast through the end of the week and the weekend. Temperatures in the upper 80s, rain chance 20% tomorrow. We could see a stray shower. 30% Friday with the passing front. Not a lot of measurable rain expected, but we could have some passing showers. And then we turn much cooler this weekend. Highs in the 70s on Saturday and Sunday with a low of 52 degrees on Saturday night. So we definitely have some chilly weather arriving there in the long range forecast. We'll look at your long range or seven day coming up in just a bit, but it may seem like a little cloudy day happened overhead today, but it was also something a little bit more serious and in our area and also in Florida, the hazy skies are from some smoke that traveled all the way from Canadian wildfires and that's affecting air quality. Here's more with Kate Hussey on the sands of Vero Beach. Kind of a slow day today. Fisherman Robert Dockendorf. And right now, I'm just going fishing, seeing if we can get a bite. Casts his line, just thankful he can see it. Visibility is usually a lot clearer, man. A lot clearer. He's not the only one whose oceanfront view is clouded. Just up the beach, Kevin and Kathy Reed. Enjoying this breeze. Came to see the high tide. We thought there'd be some erosion, but yeah, look at that. But are in awe of a different weather phenomenon. The haze probably distinctively off in the distance. You can tell something's up. The smoke from 300 Canadian wildfires now attracting the attention of beachgoers up and down Vero's coast. It was so like glowy and bright. All the way from Canada. Wow. It's like a ghost ship would almost be on the horizon somewhere. And it may be cool to look at, but pulmonologist Stephen Milan says with an air quality index of over 150, it's not a good idea to stay out in it for long. The average uh, person we always tell without any respiratory disease, without any cardiovascular disease, we say, hey, um, maybe it's spend a little bit more time indoors and like an idiot. I went for a run this morning. Yeah, that's what Dr. Milan says not to do. If you have to be outdoors, limit yourself to non strenuous activity like sunbathing or fishing. And if you have any kind of lung or heart disease, it's especially important for you to stay inside as much as possible. We also strongly recommend that hey, pay attention to your symptoms. If you're coughing more, these are triggers. These are red flags. Bottom line, while it may look eerie, it's Halloween season. It's October. I'm like, are there zombies all over the place today? I'm like, thankfully, it's not zombie serious, but it is a good idea to take your activities inside or at the very least monitor the weather. So I check my line about every five minutes and I'll check the weather. So all that haze around our area today too, and we do expect to see it back again tomorrow. Let's talk about the potential for some rain and some things to clear the haze out of here and maybe help with the drought a little bit. We certainly need that as we're in that level four extreme drought in the area is shaded in red in our forecast area and most of us now in severe drought where we're not in the extreme drought. So definitely a serious situation. Uh, we might see a couple of passing showers on Friday morning It's showing up right there in the GFS model and then we get a little break and we've got some cooler, drier air in the place for the weekend and northern 
northerly flow, a strong northerly breeze. Next week looks pretty nice to start the week, but we may start to see some clouds in the picture, and we're hopeful that there'll be some rain around the area on Thursday. It depends on exactly where the low pressure area sets up, but we'll be close enough to actually see possibly some beneficial raindrops on Thursday and into Friday. Surface front comes through Friday, and our next front could be a real good fall front again returning with more cool air. So if we look at the upper level pattern, we're, we've gone away from the upper ridge and Saturday we've got a nice trough in the east and that's generally going to stay in place through the week next week. So our temperatures are going to be quite comfortable. Our morning lows in the 50s and then we see another low for substantial trough in the area next weekend, the following weekend. So it will be a series of fronts and normally the way October goes is that each front gets a little more cool air and a little more cool air will get progressively chillier as we go through the month. Get ready for fall to arrive. It all comes to a theater near you on Saturday. Thanks for joining us here on Next Weather.